Hey everybody. Um, I was just in a coaching session and we were talking about the nature of reality and uh, you know one of the most important uh, keys in the creation of our reality is a thing called intentions. So let me expand on that for you. Okay, so our reality is a really interesting thing because it's got the word real in it. So there's a sense that there is a realness to it and there certainly is a realness to it. However, it's not a universal reality. Now the key is that um, with our reality, our reality is really a construct of, the, of our mind and it's a thing called confirmation bias. So the way that from an NLP perspective that we look at um, our reality and how it's constructed is that there's in any one moment there's over 2 million bits of information. Now our minds can only handle 132 bits of information and um, so what we do is we delete, we distort and we generalise all of the rest of it which is 1,999,868 points of information. So really that 132 bits of information then becomes our reality. Now the interesting thing here is that um, our reality is based upon what our uh, perception is. Our perception is directed by our, what our focus is. And our focus is driven by what our attention, okay? All of those things are driven by what we believe about self and others. Now, what we do is we constantly look for evidence of what we believe about self and others to then suggest that we are correct. And this is where Henry Ford said that whether you believe you're right or you're wrong, you're always right. So we are constantly looking for information in a sense of confirmation bias to then let us know that we are correct in what we are looking for or what we are saying or more importantly what we are believing okay so at the end of the day your reality is equal to what you place your attention on now the interesting thing about this is and the most important thing that we really need to become to um, to the awareness of is that your attention can be driven by your intentions, okay? Now this is where intentions are really, really key and important and significant in every moment of your day. Now, what I do and what I've been coaching people to and encouraging people to do is that they set their intention at the beginning of the day because in the beginning of the day, you actually get to set your momentum for the day, all right? Now, your intention, so whenever I'm speaking to somebody, I'm being present, so that's part of my intention. So my attention um, uh, places gets placed on being present with people, but I speak with loving compassion, okay? Also, I'm also looking for gratitude and appreciation throughout my days. Now, as my intention is being set, my attention then follows my intention, which actually drives and guides my 132 bits of information, which then ultimately then becomes my reality. So intentions are very, very important in the creating of your reality. Now, if you are not consciously aware of your attention, through your intention setting, then you will automatically create intentions or attention driven by your fear-based mind. Because your fear-based mind is on automatic. It just wants to keep you alive. It just wants to keep you safe. So then I become, in a sense, slave to the mind wants to keep me safe and it's going to pick up automatically a lot of fear-based things that I'm not enough, there's not enough, there's a lack of, I can't trust, there's threat. Now if I'm not aware of that then that how that is how my days are then filled by looking at that information. Now you'll be able to find that quite easily because when we look at the media, the media is driven by creating drama, it's driven by creating um, uh, survival and there's a lot of threat that's based in our media okay so the idea here is that to become a conscious creator of your reality to drive the attention that your intentions are pointing towards it's important to become aware of what you're placing your attention on now that's where we then take it back to the beginning of the day and we set out intentions so intentions are really really important very very significant cool I am running, coming up to a uh, New Year's Day, we're going to do an intention setting workshop, okay? And this is where we then take you through a series of um, 
aspects of your life and we actually start to look at what we would like to invite into our days because that's a really, really important concept and it's a really, really important question that we don't necessarily ask ourselves. What do I want? We're really good at telling people and focusing on what we don't want but we really need to start asking the question of what do I want? What do I want to invite into my days? And that's where your intention setting becomes key in that. Okay, so I'll put a link below this um, towards our New Year's Day intention setting uh, workshop. This is where uh, I'll be working with Jess and Will from Bodhi Sound Healing, and then I'll be then doing a two hour workshop that sits in between these sound meditations either side. Okay, so if you're interested in starting off on uh, the right foot in 2020 and you've got the day free and you want to make it about you and what the 2020 is uh, coming up to hold for you, then go to the link below, check it out, and I'll look forward to hanging out with you on New Year's Day, okay? If I don't see you then, everyone have a Merry Christmas and uh, Happy New Year, all that sort of stuff, but I'd really love to catch up and be uh, spending some time with you on New Year's Day, okay? All right, beautiful. Just wanted to share that with you. Have a wonderful day and... I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.